Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Four Strategy Gaming. I have gotten a lot of requests to do some exploratory videos, also listening to the lore and playing as the female characters. So we will do another full series of Let's Play videos, starting here with the Barbarian. <laughs> I can't spell. Alrighty everyone, I'm excited to do another uh, full Let's Play series here. Again, we will be doing it this time with the female characters, and I'll be taking a lot more time here and actually doing full exploring of the maps. I do want to show you the randomization aspect. There's been a lot of questions about how randomized this game really is, and I just kind of want to show you what I've seen from the beta. Also, I'll spend some time listening to the lore and all of that, and we'll start with this one here. Seek the fallen star. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Alrighty. So I need to speak to Leah. Leah, whatever. I keep I keep mispronouncing her name and people get so so angry. Um, so yeah, I've been doing a lot of uh, a lot of interesting things with the barbs in terms of uh, in, in terms of video content. I've been trying to kind of mix things up for you guys and keep things interested. Uh, as always, you know, I, I'm looking forward to your input. I gotta stop again mid-sentence. <laughs> this is why I, this is why I hate that. I'm not gonna stop mid-sentence for the conversations if they cut me off. I'll just do it. For, I'll, I'll just stop for the lore. But anyways, yeah, I'm always uh, interested in your guys' feedback, and I want to know what you think. So, I'm obviously gonna uh, equip some stuff here. Get uh, Miss Lady Barb up to snuff, up to par. Let's get some sweet gear on you, Lady Barb. All right, looking uh, looking pretty pretty awesome. I have to say, I can actually do the uh, Grimswald Edge at level 2, I believe. Yeah, so we'll get that in just one minute. All right, let's go. Let's go into here first. So, yes, this is going to be a full exploratory run, listening to the lore and all that stuff. Are you Leah? Rumford said you survived the Fallen Star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia. Oh no! <laughs> They're turning! How frightening indeed. At least this is more fitting now. Now the Lady Barb has got the pink pants and the blue boots. <laughs> the dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. I will send them back to their graves. I will save your town. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. I throw in power. Level two. I love the accent too in the female barb. I think that is awesome. Sounds pretty impressive. All right, we got a journal here, ladies. Journal. Been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon. Oh no! Town is being overrun by demons. What do we do? What do we do, Deckard? What's your journal have to tell us? We have come at last to Tristram's old cathedral. This is where Diablo, Lord of Terror, first corrupted mankind. This is where I may finally find the answers I seek. Leah worries after my safety, but I believe information vital to defeating the last lords of the Burning Hells can be found here. Okay. How about you, Captain Rumford? What do you have to say? How can I help fight the Risen Dead? I admire your courage, but... Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Your warriors will be avenged. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! Actually, you know what? Before I go out there, I do want to do one thing. I need to grab another ring. I also wanted to show you guys really quickly something I've noticed. Um, the major benefit in the 2-4 to four damage rings as opposed to other. Uh, I don't know if I have another 2-4. to four. So one to two damage ring. All right, let's just take a look at this, right? I'll put on the one to two, the F. I'll put on the one to two damage ring, and I also want to get get the three to minimum damage, and the one to maximum damage. And let's take a look at the DPS differences here. This is something I thought you guys might be interested in. All right, so that's my current DPS right now, um, with the one to two damage and the two to four damage ring. Let me uh, tr swap out the one to two damage for the plus three minimum damage, and let's see what happens. 
So you can see the DPS actually stayed the same there. Now let me change it with the one maximum damage. You can see it en ends up dropping. Um, so the plus three minimum damage le left the DPS the same when swapped with the one to two ring. However, when swapped to the two to four ring, you'll see a big drop there. Um, so that base plus damage seems a lot more beneficial than just that plus three minimum. And then the plus one maximum, that's a huge drop as opposed to the two to four total damage plus. So. I've been finding these rings to be uh, uh, getting multiple 2 to 4s. I have 2 to 4s on most of my characters, but just 1 to 2 is all I had for this extra here. So uh, I just I, I did want to show that to you guys, though, because um, I thought that was pretty pretty interesting. So, yeah, we'll be doing a full exploratory run. This will be a lot more casual, uh, certainly much more casual than the other runs that, uh, that I had done for the other Let's Plays. But, yeah, I want to show you guys just, you know, various aspects of the game. Um, I'm also going to spend some more time playing around with those other skills as well. Uh, now as you saw, we start off of course with Threatening Shout if you watch the Male Barbarian Let's Play. And I did just pick up uh, Hammer of the Ancients, so let me pick that up right away. Uh, so that's going to leave me with Bash and Hammer of the Ancients. So, we'll be doing the full exploring. I want to show you basically all aspects of the map. And as I mentioned at the very start here, I do want to talk about the randomization. Now, there, there seems to be the set path, like for instance here, there's a set path, it's going to go like up here a little bit and then wrap back around until it gets me to the next area that I need to be at. Um, but there, there's all randomization in between, like basically there can be randomized dungeons and stuff and there's like a whole big left hand side area that's going to be up here that's all randomized as well. The biggest randomization in this game really is coming in the form of the dungeons. Whenever you go into dungeons, um, even the dungeons themselves, like I said, there can be random dungeons throughout the world so I'll spend time and I'm gonna go all along the fringes of the map uh, just to show you guys everything and I'll explore every little nook and cranny every dungeon that there is to see um, but yeah there, there's certainly a, a hefty amount of the randomization and I really found that to be true when I was doing the speed runs because you know every time I'd go in the cathedral for example or I try to find the right crypts to get to the next area um, and, and I'll talk to you about those when we actually get there uh, I realized things were completely different from the way they were before and that consistently happened and I, I did a lot of that stuff so let me listen to this floor I'll come back for him common nuisance in the western lands and I have had my own tents ransacked by them. During an expedition to Candorus, I was able to beat them off with a shoe. But a less bold man would have fared far worse. Quill fiends are dangerous. Underestimate them at your peril. Yes, be wary of those quill fiends. Not really. Certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not at this stage of the game. Uh, and the reason I held off over here is because this guy's got a story too. Adventurer's corpse by a pit. It means there's a traveler's journal. While exploring a cave, with this for finding hidden treasure, I came upon a most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievably, as I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this in New Tristram before it's too late. <laughs> All right, so you see this right here, this damp cellar, this is randomized. It wouldn't necessarily be here in every run through. Now that, that basic center path of my questing is always consistent. And here's, the, here's one of those uh, illusionist dudes that splits in three when he gets to 30%. I think that one of his thirds uh, took my hammer to the face though, so that's why we only saw two that was split up there. Ew, boy. But yeah, when I was doing my speedruns, I certainly realized the heavy amount of randomization that is in place for the dungeons. Now, again, I mentioned there's that straight path and it wraps back around. So if I cut straight to the next area, you know, I know that there's a path that's going to go to that certain, uh, that certain section. But all of this stuff on the left hand side and all up here this is all going to be randomized so the types of monsters that i come across uh possible additional dungeons like that damp cellar that we just walked through all of that stuff uh specialty monsters like enchanted monsters all that stuff is uh, completely randomized and we'll definitely take a look and i think i'm I, I am going to do this exploratory type video for the four additional female characters um besides the barbarian i just wanted to start off with the bar because my favorite class uh, <laughs> but I do want to show you guys um, and I think comparing all that stuff will be a good example for you guys to see the type of randomization and then I'll probably do specific videos just showing you like the same dungeon but the different map layouts so I'll, I'll fully explore it and then I'll just overlay the map and I'll, and I'll compare and contrast I'll put the frames together basically for you guys uh, just so you can see the the hefty amount of uh, randomization that is available because people have complained about that watching the through the beta playthrough um, but yes the general storyline paths are pretty set in stone but there's a lot of randomization in between all that stuff as well and that was a uh, piece of cake
Piece of cake. Loving these moon physics here in this game. <laughs> Especially with Hammer of the Ancients and Leap Attack. Oh, you just send bodies flying, and it is hilarious. It is so, so funny. People worried about realism. Well, we're in a fantasy world, so my apologies. If it's not as realistic as you may like it to be. And actually, I believe... Did I pick up a new spell? Picked up Battle Rage, so why don't I just go ahead and... Let me just equip this, just so you guys can see. So Battle Rage is going to... Uh, uh, 20 Fury, enter a rage, increasing damage by 30% and critical hit by 4% for 30 seconds. So this is just a, a basically a buff that you would constantly want to keep up. Um, to have that consistent extra damage. You'd only need to obviously do it at once every 30 seconds, but since I'm just tearing through rage, I'm just like, ah, no big deal. I'll just keep spamming it. No big deal. Uh, no actual time unless you mouse over it, but you can see with the icon the amount of time that's available as the, it moves, uh, as it moves counterclockwise. And becomes enshrouded in darkness. I'll also do a lot more time. People were complaining about me not picking up stuff in the last play. It's like, come on. Do you really want to watch me pick up and destroy barrels? It's not that I don't know to do those things. It's that it is boring as crap for a let's play. Nobody wants to watch me break through 50 barrels in a row. Come on. You do that in your own time when you're actually playing the game and it actually matters and you have a chance of getting that extra loot. But in a beta, in a let's play, if you're complaining about me not clicking on every single little barrel, you're just an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm usually not, like, rude at all, but, I mean, geez, nobody... It's not interesting. It's not interesting for that, for this type of a video, so... Do it when you play the beta, but you don't really want to watch it, so don't pretend you do. You cry babies. All right. <laughs> let's go back here. All right, so you can see there, so this that's exactly what I was talking about. There was that set path wrapped around to that next area, but the randomization took place in here. There were those two extra dungeons. That was randomized. There could have been dungeons over here. There could have been dungeons over here. You know what I mean? Uh, that's the kind of thing to keep in mind when it, we're looking at that. Oh, I got, I got to stop talking. <laughs> she won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. All right, wonderful. Next. Come. Let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Here we go, back to Adria's hut. So again, this is still gonna kind of be a set path, and I'll, I'll, I'll discuss with you the next area as well. my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Decker. Make sure we get our ex exploration. Let's make sure we get our exploration on, though, shall we? Lost when Tristram fell to the demons. What a joke. <laughs> Alright, it's so time to move down into uh, Adria's hut. Something over here. Let us go into the hidden cellar. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Not here, Fury. My buff on. There it is. There it is. Got a sweet chest here too. Here's the key and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will go. Stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Ooh, I forgot that I can keep moving during that dialogue box. All right, picked up Cleve. Go ahead and uh, toss that on. So it, it's not going to be as much direct damage as uh, what I care. You know what I do, actually? Instead of bat. Oh my god. Oh, it's Adria. I was wondering. Sorry. <laughs> you, you missed Adria's discussion. All right, so uh, <laughs> I, I was just going to replace the, uh, the battle... Battle Rage with the cleave. That way, I've got a direct target with a bash, and the cleave, which is doing 120% weapon damage as opposed to the 145, but it's also spread out a lot more with that 60% extra. All right, so this is another randomized thing here. This mass grave isn't always here. All right, so when I get multiple packs, that's obviously when I'm using cleave. When I get a single target, that's when I'm using my bash. It's all fairly basic stuff. You guys understand that. I don't need to tell you about it. All right, so this is where we're really going to start to run into randomization here is in the dungeon. 
and I think really besides the exploring, that's most of what I'm talking to you about in this one. Because you guys know, I mean, I explain the stuff about the barb to you, and I'll, again, I'll make sure I do go over the, the spells again and try to mix it up uh, in this playthrough as well. But let's check all those nooks and crannies here. So that's something I can't do. Let's go through there. What a bummer. Alright, so time to go in here. Something I found really interesting when doing the speedruns is I can actually go down there by clicking here. Like, I'm nowhere near the giant hole that somehow I still dropped down. <laughs> somehow. Alright, so. Here's another example. Alright, this very front area is the same. But from this point forward, all of this is going to be randomized. And these dungeons are really where we start to see the random aspects of the gameplay uh, come into their own. So, And that's what they focused on. The main outside areas aren't as randomized, but these are. These crazy, crazy dungeons are. Alright, so in a position like this, there's a way to go up here, there's a way to go down here, and there's just a little tucked in section down here. But these are just like these separate room chunks, is basically how it works. And so this is one room chunk, and then the doors leading out will lead to s separate types of air, I'll call them area chunks, because a, a lot of times they incorporate more than just one room. So, we'll call them area chunks. So there's, there's different areas, and they're basically just placed like a jigsaw puzzle, one at a time next to each other. Um, and that's, that is where you see it. Getting all mixed up. All right. I've got no. F uh, <laughs> I just realized I've got no fury spender in this. Uh, well, I'm at right now. A little force. Look at a little while. Oh well. I'll just run with no fury spender for now. No, I can't do that. Let me. Uh, let me get back hammer of the ancients. I'll keep cleave. Just so you guys can see it. I'll get hammer of the ancients there, and I'll keep cleave here. That sounds good. Since I can only have two active sk spill spells spills. I can have two active spells at a time. Trolls like trolls be all like, "Why don't you fill up your hot bar?" And I'm like, "A derp! Do you not know about Diablo 3? <laughs> I can only have two spells right now. It's only that's that's all that's possible. Yes, I can use the hot bar, but I can only use it with these two spells. Want to see? Want to see proof? You trolls, look at that! Oh no! But what about all those other ones that you see here? It's called active skills, and you can only have so many of them. Trolls be drinking their hater aid and keeping on their hater shades. My girlfriend told me that once. I thought it was stupid. I'm sure you guys thought it was equally stupid. <laughs> 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 Alright, Miss Female Barb. Lady Barb, actually. I was polite calling you Lady Barb. Nothing. You got nothing on me, grotesque. Oh, looks like we got some more lore here as well. Should be locked in on his journal. There it is, part one. My name is Lachdanon. Locked and in. I am cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I have. Even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. I'll tell you one thing. I am happy now that I know <laughs> about, uh... That I know about those arcane enchanted mobs, and I know actually how to deal with them. Because <laughs> I sure didn't into my first barbarian playthrough. That was actually my first playthrough of the beta. And I literally did not even know about arcane enchanted mobs. I don't know if I just didn't see them when I uh, played for a short while in the middle of the summer, but picked up Ignore Pain, so that's something that's useful against <laughs> those guys. Knowledge is power, though. Knowledge is power. Pointless. Don't know why I picked that up. All right, so we'll go down here. This is not going to lead anywhere. This is just again one of those kind of small area segments. Um, the branch, the branch offs in this area are going to be in that direction and that direction. So it's pretty cool though, because once you play through it, you get an idea of like what the different room room chunks, what they look like, and so you can have a, a decent idea of uh, what direction to be moving in. And here, of course, are the illusionists. Which, if you saw the uh, monster enchantment videos. You'll notice um, that they split in three at a third, like I explained in those. In those there videos. Ooh, look at those illusionist uh, minions. And, and yes, those enchanted mobs typically travel with minions, w which will have that same enhancement as they do. So uh, that's something to be, keep in mind, you know, especially if you run into a big pack of uh, some of the more dangerous type of enchants. You got to be careful. Not necessarily in the beta so much, but. Certainly once we move into the more difficult areas of the game. What is this uh, crazy little bat doing? He still looks like a whelp to me. I'm sorry. I guess he's kind of a bat. I suppose so. Getcha. I gotcha. 
All right, so yeah, there's the branch off area over here. And these things, you always want to grab these bookcases um, because they are going to be giving you pages of trainings, with training, which is what will be used to level up your, uh, your blacksmithy here in the beta. Looking forward to more people getting into the beta as well. Um, I made that challenge video the other day, asking people to beat my uh, my XP chain there. A hundred and something kills I got. I don't remember what it was, like 146, I think. And uh, yeah, so luckily, uh, you know, more and more keys should be going out over time. The challenge is lasting until the start of BlizzCon. It's almost a full month, so that gives plenty of time for more people to give in and give it a shot. And I'll do more after that, so there's no reason to uh, worry if you can't happen to get into it now. Fret not, because there will be many more in the future. Alright, let's go through here. Again, just keep up this exploring. I want to touch on all aspects of the uh, of all areas that we're going to be going through. I just want you guys to be able to see everything. You know, you know what I mean? I want you guys to be able to see everything there is to see here. Yeah, and you know, if this is your first time watching any of my Let's Plays, realize this is, again, a much more casual, um, relaxed version of what I normally do. If you want a much more concise Let's Play, kind of get into the point of things, go ahead and check out my other ones. The male characters. These females, they dilly-dally all over the place. They're just taking their sweet old time. Can't help it. They can't help it. All right, let's go here. All right, grotesque. There we go. We've working quite well, I'd have to say. And here it is. Okay, so I will show you the map again, and I'll kind of uh, explain to you the different segment areas once more, just so you can get a better feel. So this is the starting area. Now, from that point forward, everything else has a chance to be randomized. This is a section. This is a big chunk. That is a big chunk. That's a chunk, and that's a chunk. So these things could have been in a different order. It could have been going over here, over here. There could have been different chunks than the ones that we see here. There's all sorts of different map layouts that they use, and they just randomly kind of puzzle them together. So this whole air, this whole thing could have been completely different. But again, these are the various types of chunks that you'll see placed together, and we'll see that kind of as we continue as well. We shall. 